Anyway, have any of you guys done these speed jump workshop maps? I wanted to see what they were. When... What order are you supposed to do it in? This one, maybe? Speed jump. Play the workshop thing. Do I need... Um... What is this? So you just need to fly into the ball? It doesn't have any textures. Oh, I've seen this before. Am I allowed to go on the floor here? Hey, Johnny boy. No, you're not. Okay. Science has been proven. Oh, that's a little bit too... Oh, what? I accidentally reset the shot, didn't I? Does this one, you just hold boost. This one, you pretty much just hold boost. Uh, Grunt Grunt, thanks for the three months. Love the stream. Hey, I love you, buddy. Thanks for this, uh, thanks for this sub. Appreciate it. So, I've, I think uh, there are textures for this. So, if you want this to... Wait, can I just drive? That's so trippy, dude. Why does it just fall all of a sudden? <laughs> I'm sure with the textures on, it would make a lot more sense that you wouldn't just fall. But yeah, I get the idea. I get the idea. Is this the one that um, I always see uh, pros doing? Is it? I'm not sure if it is. I'm not sure if it is. I think that... It's not the one that Remco has a world record for. Oh, it might be. It might be. I wanted to see what it was, because it was really high rated in the... In the... Um, in the workshop, and I didn't know what it was. So I thought, I'm just going to download this and see what it is. Is this the one that Remco has the world record for? I think it might be. I'm honestly not sure. I've never done this before as well, so I have to kind of guess where I have to go most of the time. The old one is called Obstacle Course. Oh yeah, this is new. Or, I've never seen this before. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh! oh, we nearly one-shot it. For some reason, I don't like flying straight forwards. So it's stuff like this that ruins me when my car is suddenly pointing forwards. I like flying sideways and backwards more. Who have you guys seen any uh, pros doing this? Uh, did I see Scrub doing this the other day? I might have done. Where do I have to go here? Do I need to dodge this pyramid or something? Oh, hey maybe you do. Boy. Hello. Hello, Mia. Where am I supposed to go? Maybe I have to do this slower. Animal, anima, anima X Ultima. Thanks for the seven months. Another seven months there. It's been a lot of those today. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, and welcome back. Yeah, yeah, you have to go under here. Okay, you have to definitely just do this slower. So you can actually slow down enough. It's pretty hard to get through this, uh, this opening while going slow enough, and then also miss... Dude. Dude. There we go. And then I think you just go up again. Oh, where do we go now? Okay, it's right here. <laughs> I couldn't see it because my car was blocking. I was like, "Where now? I don't know where to go." All right, where do we go here? In here, maybe? Yep. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so trippy. I I don't know. Do you? Does anyone who's played this know if the textures are worth downloading? Does it make it significantly better? Because I'm not having a horrible time here. This looks fine, honestly. It's a uh, it's intuitive enough that it kind of makes sense, you know. Everything seems to make sense. I've not been completely weirded out, apart from uh, when you lose <laughs> when you lose vision because you can't see. The textures are worth downloading. You think? How do you download textures? I'm I'm a workshop map noob. I'm an absolute noob. Am I supposed to be going? Apparently, I'm supposed to be going up. Why am I going down? Apparently, um, I'm a just a massive noob at workshop maps. I don't know how to do them. I can't even remember how I downloaded the textures for the the dribbling challenge that I did do. For anybody who remembers that, for goodness sake. Instructions are on the workshop page. Uh, sorry, you're trying to make an instant. No, Karma, don't worry about it. It was def I just reset the shot because I got distracted talking. Okay, never mind. No, Karma, that was good. The, the game one was actually sick. And a lot of people um, who saw you beat Squishy and were saying that you only won because Squishy was trying fancy shots and you were just trying to win. Well, you've answered them all now because you scored a pretty good shot in game one. Oh, I can't fly this way for this one. There we go. I forgot that there was a wall right in front of me as soon as you spawn. On that one. Nearly, nearly kicked the bucket. This one's a bit of an awkward start. Bit of an awkward starty, starty start. Looks like there's multiple ways to get through this one. In the... <gasps> I thought I missed. <laughs> I thought I missed it. There might be multiple ways to get through some of these. 
like uh, especially ones with like those weird shaped obstacles. Obviously, the ones with flat walls like this. There's probably only one way to go through. The ball camera is really trippy as well. For some reason, if you just respawned, it doesn't like like it doesn't just straighten up straight away. It just looks in the direction that you were before you died. Oh what? Yeah, I think the, the textures would definitely um, help in this one, because you don't know how low y you can go, and then you're just dead. I guess the trick is just don't go too low. Just got to make sure not to go all the way to the bottom. Chabarel, thanks for the three pounds. Johnny, I missed you, and I missed saying you, 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 you. Well, I hope you didn't expect that to get read out by the uh, donation voice readery man, because I've got rid of him. Got rid of him for the time being. Woo! We did it. Oh no, this was the one I kept flopping. Yeah. I'm just going to go straight back into flop mode now. It's so trippy. It doesn't, like, it doesn't feel like I should be moving forward here. Like, am I even moving? Aw, oh, damn. What? Why are we sideways? I never turned. <laughs> it's one of those weird spawn glitches in these maps where if you start moving before you've given your time, your car time to... What did I even hit there? If you start moving before you're given your car time to settle, then you just accidentally turn. This is a really fun map though. I know that a lot of people uh, want tutorials and things on how to fly better. Like for real, if you want to just learn how to fly, this is probably the best way to do it. Like what was that that spawn? I didn't even turn, my car just fell. But yeah, this is probably the best way that you can learn how to, you know, adapt and fly in different ways. I'm sure if somebody was speed running this, they could really try and uh, Slow down. It's because I'm impatient. I've already done this. I've already seen this. Oh, for just sake. My impatience is getting the better of me because I've already done this, you know? I should just slow down and make sure that I get through and stop trying to rush myself. It's just the, hey, Johnny boy. the part of me that's like, no, you've already seen this. Just hurry. Let's get on to the next one. And then I don't even know how to finish the one I'm on. Oh! Ah! Ah! Okay. Because this is the awkward part. I don't know how low I'm allowed to go. I don't know when I'm clear of danger. There we go. It's getting clear of the danger is the hard part as well. Ah! No! <laughs> I was so worried that I was going to hit that wall at the end that I tried to spiral through it and then I just missed the cube or the ball. Disaster. Oh, who was that, by the way? Puff2112. Thanks for the seven months. Another seven monther. It is a long time. Appreciate you, buddy. It's really hard. I, I will I won't try the downloading the textures today because I just want to experiment with this for now. For anybody wondering why I'm doing this, it's because uh, I just wanted to give this a go and also because I'm only I'm gonna just, I've just reset the shot by accident. This is such bad muscle memory on my part. And also because um, that PRL thing is gonna be on pretty soon. So I don't wanna stream, I'm gonna watch that when it's on. So I'll just stream for another 15 minutes or so, chat to you guys. And uh, it's easier to chat while I'm not casting, so we'll just do this. And also, it's pretty hard to set up anything to cast in the, in the time that we have remaining. I wonder what the, all, the fastest way to get through this is. I imagine it's slaloming. That's pretty fast. You can't even jump here. Yeah, there is... The floor does run out, like, before the... Oh, I'll just reset the shot again. I need to unbind this. This is actually the end of me. I can't believe how much I pressed this by mistake, right? It's on O. Oh, we can't possibly reset the shot now. Can we? Watch me. I'll find a way. Let's just leave ball cam on and finish this second one with ball cam on. I wonder if you could finish the entire thing without ball cam or with ball cam on. That'd be impressive. If somebody could do that, I'd be genuinely very impressed. If somebody could finish this entire thing with ball cam on. So it'd be pure just memory of where things are. Did I fail that? So you're allowed to touch the side wall, just not the back wall? Really? And you're not allowed to touch these middly walls, of course. Yeah, I think going up here is definitely the fastest. And then just fly straight down. Knowledge is everything in these. Like, no, having done the level before is so much easier. Oh. It's still not easy for me, at least. Oh, some people might find this really easy. I'm sure somebody could just one-shot this. No problems. No problems at all. Oh, I just turned the wrong way. Honestly, I'm better at flying backwards than I am flying forwards. I should just fly it, try to, at key moments, be backwards. Because it's easier. 
It's easier to uh, to correct left and right at least. Up and down, maybe not so much. But yeah, it's easier to correct left and right for me. My brain is better at uh, figuring out what is happening in reverse, just because I always fly backwards in like all the training packs. Don't know why, but I just find it easier. Or sideways, maybe. Oh, you can't. I don't think I've failed this one yet, but yeah, you you can't hit these rims at all, or else you just get totaled. I'm definitely going too fast again. I'm trying to um, get back to where I was, back to the part where I was before I accidentally reset the shot about 50 times. What is this called? Um, I don't know how to tell you in this in this uh, what do you call it in this mode. I'd have to go back to the to the main menu. Oh, I'd have to go back to the main menu. No, oh, that last one was the, the difficult one. If you want to speedrun this, you would have to, you would really have to spiral through it, wouldn't you? Like, you've got to be constantly accelerating yourself forwards, or else you're not going to be able to do it. Like, you'd have to do it in kind of that sort of formation. Whoops. Feels side flip, man. Right, I've never made it past the one after this, so I just need to not reset the shot by accidentally fat fingering O on my keyboard, and we're good. <laughs> Because usually my reset shot is on my thumb mouse button, so it's very, very easy to fat finger. And I do it all the time. Uh, had to fall there to not hit the point, but then I, in falling and missing the point, I went too low. Hate it when you miss the point, don't you? Worst thing ever. Did that map a while ago, it's fun. Yeah, this one's awesome. Like, I just tried it out because somebody mentioned do the golf map, and I was like, you know... I've never even really given this, the Rocket League workshop enough attention and, you know, given it enough love. I just got completely mind games by this. Like, I was nearly ready to go down again when it, actually you're supposed to go up. Where are you supposed to go here? Like, through here, I guess? I was right, but I still go, went too fast. Yeah, it's pretty much just like um, a mini game while also improving your aerial uh, control. This forward-backwards aerial control, this is so, such an unusual thing. This almost never happens in real Rocket League, where you're just like, you know, you jump up and then you're like, no, I need to slow down and uh, fly on the spot. Very rare. Very rare. Especially without ball cam. But it's useful to know how to do, nonetheless. It's useful to know how to do. Really, the only time that you would end up in this sort of position is if you're pre-jumping, and then you have to just stop and wait for the ball to come to you, I think. That's like the only time you would need to do this consistently. No! Also, don't change your FOV before you do this. It'll just confuse you. <laughs> It'll mess up your depth perception, make you think that you're further away from things that you're actually right beside. Can't see. Oh, we're supposed to go over this, not under. Maybe you can also go under, but I know you can definitely go over, so we're just going to do that. Ah! Thank you. Okay, I've yet to make it through here. Because I suck. Oh, easy. First try. How many more of these are there? Do I have to go like straight up here or something? What is this? Where am I going? Where are we going? Am I going left here? Okay, okay. We're still still going left apparently. I can't see where I'm supposed to go is a big problem here. Uh, there we go. We'll just fly into this. <gasps> Whew! Easy. Not even close. Jump 10. Alright. We just one shot jump 9 somehow. By accident probably. Where are we going? This way, okay, on it, and up, and then down, alright, on it, and then to the right, and then I imagine it'll be left, because that's usually how these go, oh no, it's just under, okay, don't want to be going too fast though, because no doubt we'll have to go up again, there we go, ah, oh, it's just getting easier and easier, so simple, I take it you have to like turn sideways here, because the octane is really fat, Ugh. maybe not, let's just... I tried to reset the shot there, muscle memory, trying to screw me over. It's because I always feel like resetting the shot will only take me back one, but of course it takes you back way more than one. Oh, this is trippy. This is very trippy. Where are we going? I can't figure out which way I'm facing because it keeps looping. Let's just fall to our death. Let's just fall. Feels good to fall and die. This is so trippy, dude. Where am I going? Where are we supposed to go? Where's the ball the ball cam when you need it? I don't know what I don't know what'll happen if I turn on ball cam. I'm afraid to do it! I'm afraid to do it! I need to stop talking. 
is honestly so difficult. <laughs> where, where does the where would ball cam make us face? Apparently, ball the ball's there. That's really useful. Does the ball stay there? Watch side flips. Does the ball stay there the entire time or no? Does the ball change places? Kind of. I guess. Can I please get away from that wall? No. <laughs> I hate this one so much. It's just I can't see where I'm going. I wish you could lock the camera on to just face in one direction only, you know? You know what I mean? That'd be really nice. Be really nice right about now, Rocket League. Really nice. Because right now I have no clue wh which way's up, which way's down. You messed it up, bro. Up, down, left, right. Did I? Well, if I misspoke, then I'm sure you'd understand why. A lot of my uh, focus is being used right now to try to fly into this gap, which... Why did the camera change? I didn't do anything and it just changed. Right, let's just go this way. Maybe this was, Maybe this is the way. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yep. Now what? Now where do I go? Ah! It just changed again, but I see the finish line. Yes! <laughs> the, 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 I'm not even pressing ball cam. It just keeps changing. I actually, the car looks amazing. Mate, my car looks insane. This is my free play car. Look at me. I'm so colorful in free play. Oh, dear. We're very high right now. If only. Oh. Which way are we going here? This is a tricky part. This is a tricky one, because I don't know which way I'm supposed to go after I get around this corner. That last one that I just did was so hard. The camera just kept on changing its mind. I didn't have ball cam on, I'm pretty sure. I did not have ball cam on throughout the entire thing. What? I didn't hit a wall there. This is nonsense. I feel like the Octane is so fat that I need to turn sideways here, but I probably don't. <laughs> probably don't. It's just like uh, one of those things where in Rocket League you always feel like your car is much bigger than it actually is. You can jump higher than it actually can. Jeez. This is a tricky one. What? This The reason this one's tricky is because I do not feel like I'm hitting a wall there, but apparently I am. Apparently I'm very much hitting a wall. What? I mean, I know I was close to the wall, but... Whoever made this needs to revisit the, the wall textures and see why... Oh my goodness, I just brain farted. Don't use aerial, just straight left and right makes it turns easier. Yeah, but I'm trying to, uh, you know, challenge myself. This is making it making it difficult, you know? Oh, what? I think I was going the right way, but we're going to have to wait a while to find out. Seriously? How am I, like, close to a wall there? Seems the challenge is too big. Are you halfway dead? Are you seeing what's happening on my screen? Like, I'm just floating around, not a care in the world, nowhere near any walls, and then it's just like, yeah, you're dead. You're dead, mate. You just died. Oh! Okay, well, at least I know where I have to go now. What one is this? Maybe someone in chat could tell you. I'm going to do it for another, like, I'm going to do it for, like, another nine minutes. So if you guys want to chat or if there's anything you want to know, now's the time to ask. I'm going to go watch the PRL Rivals Week after this. Oh, dear. I don't know how many rounds there are. We're on like 12 or something right now. I think we're on number 12. Number 12. At the moment. This one's very tricky. Very tricky. Indeed. I'm just getting completely scammed though. I won't lie. I'm getting very scammed right now. <gasps> what? Are you serious, Rocket League? Oh my goodness. I think I need textures for this one or something because that did not look like I died on my screen at least. It really didn't. It really didn't. But apparently I was cl too close to the wall. It must be that wall behind me there. That I'm too close to. There we go. There we go. Finally. Whew. Jump 13. Alright, where's this? Where are we going? This is difficult, guys. I'm sure that even people who are good at aerials would find this tricky. You're not going to one-shot this. Okay. Depth perception got me again. How's my evening been? My evening's been pretty good. Just had, you know, some stuff to sort out, a lot of meetings to do and stuff like that. And then after that, I, uh, I had to, where are we going? Hello? Rocket League? Can I fly this way, please? I wish I knew where I was supposed to go from here. I wish. I wish I had any inkling. I just have no clue where to go. It's the biggest problem right now. Um, but yeah, I was just, you know, sorting out some stuff with some people and then streaming for a little bit. I was following Scrub Stream earlier when he was doing that NBC 2v2 qualification and I've got to say that the qualifier, if 
if the NBC qualifier is working the way that I think it is, then it's pretty stupid. It's pretty stupid, not gonna lie. And I probably shouldn't say that publicly, but I don't really care. Like, it just is. There's... It's, it, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but the final NBC 2v2 LAN thing... Okay, apparently we have to fly up at some point there. Uh, there's gonna be 12 North American teams and 4 European teams. Excuse me? What? Why is it being done like that? That's one thing I want to know. Right, well, I need to try and get this figured out. Where am I going? Can I please... Can I just maybe fly this way? And be able to see where I'm going for a change? Okay, I can take it. We have to go up here. There we go. I just wish it was easier to... I wish the camera would turn faster. There we go. Oh, nice. We made it. We have made it. But yeah, there's 12 North American teams and 4 EU. Uh, but that, that's not, like, fair enough. If you want to focus on NA, I get it. North America is where most of the fans are for Rocket League Esports. That's totally fine. Um, it's a bit, like, meh. Because, really, there's definitely a larger pool of good players in Europe than there are in America. And all American pros would agree with that statement. I'm sure it's going to be much harder to be a top four team in uh, Europe. Like, you could just lose at any moment to so many teams that are decent. Um, but the, the main bad part... It's actually not that, for goodness sake. <laughs> I thought I was making it there, but apparently not. The main bad part for me is that if I'm informed correctly, you need to, as the the number or the top four teams today that in, in the qualifier... Where am I even going right now? The top four teams that qualified today were... Um, Greasy and Remco is one of them. Mystic and Turbo is another one. Marky and Cux was another one. And then Chaussette and Farah was the last one. And if I'm correctly informed, or if I remember correctly, you, those four teams are going to need to play each other again um, in order to to qualify, if I'm not mistaken. Like, those four teams are going to play in another qualifier uh, against the teams that qualify from the other three NBC qualifiers. And let's say that Marky and Mystic, or Marky and Cux don't finish top four in the next qualifier then they're not in, even though they won this one. And I think that the teams that they're up against first in the next qualifier are going to be the teams that they've already qualified alongside. So basically, the top four from the first qualifier are going to have to play against each other for one spot, which is kind of dumb. And then the top four from uh, qualifier number two are going to play each other for one spot, which is also kind of dumb. And then there's going to be like two really, really lucky players who get in from qualifier number um, four. Like, after all, if the good teams have qualified through qualifiers number one, two, or number um, one, two, and three, then two players are just going to be like, thank you, and they're going to qualify through qualifier number four, easy peasy. Like, obviously, the way that it should work is that the team that won the qualifier today should go up against the team that comes last in qualifier four, and the team that comes third in Qualifier 3, and the team that comes second in Qualifier 2, with only one of those teams making it through. I'm pretty sure that that's, like, how it is. It makes sense in my head. Uh, well, when I say it makes sense, I mean, it doesn't make sense in the, in the sense that I agree with how the system is going to work, but their system, I, I think I've figured it out what it is. You know what I mean? But if somebody's more informed than me, and they think they have a better idea of what's actually going to happen with the NPC qualifiers, please tell me, because... It's such a last-minute thing. I really don't know, like, what it is they're trying to do with this. Like, do they want the four best teams, or do they want, like, one really good European team, one or two, and then do they want, like, uh, a couple of wildcard teams? Like, because if you want a random team showing up, do it the way you're currently doing it, NBC. But don't get me wrong. I like that they're doing 100, 100k 2v2. That's awesome. Like, their intentions are good. Their intentions are fully, fully in the right place. Oh, that's not mine or not. Invite you. I have Crimson Lightning. Wait, but you can't give it to me yet because you just uh, you just got it. Isn't there like a cooldown from getting something? Or you just want to show it? Like, oh, come on. I only want it. I'll trade it for my green one though. <laughs> hey, Johnny boy. Crimson Lightning would look pretty good in my car. Drunken Dribbler. Thanks for the seven month. Another seven month or a lot of seven month subs today. I appreciate that. After six and a half months, uh, played first against you. Easy win. Was glad to hear I don't drink and drive jokes. What? <laughs> don't really know what you mean, but thank you nonetheless. I appreciate it. Guys, I'm just going to run some ads as per 
for finishing a stream here. Going to go watch PRL. I encourage all of you guys to do the same. It's going to be pretty good. Uh, yeah, this is a community-made map, NVC. Uh, Ziggy, I'm just going to call you. Because <laughs> it's too hard to say. Just NVC. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry that the stream is kind of lame today because Sinox servers let us die. And I'll be streaming earlier tomorrow, so check it out if you're around. And if not, then I'll see you probably on Tuesday for a big 1v1 tournament. Maybe Monday if you're lucky. But I'll see you, uh, or maybe at Gfinity if you're watching that on the weekend. But anyway, have a good Thursday night, hens, and see you next time. Hey, Johnny boy. Gigo7545, hope you didn't just get adverted because I did just click the button. But thanks for the sub. Appreciate it, buddy. Whoop, boop, boop. Okay. Well, I'm going to stick around for another three minutes for that ad to roll. And then I'm going to head off. This one is tripping me out so hard. So hard. It's really, really difficult. These ones where you have to, like, turn in first perspective are really, really hard for me. Because my camera's not even turning for ages. Look how long I have to fly blind there. My camera just refuses to turn. It's messed up, dude. It's messed up. And I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. I think I am. I think I am. I think I'm supposed to go up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. Then we have to figure that one out blind a lot. Oh, what?! Holy! It just tripped me up out of nowhere. Am I winning this? Okay, thank goodness. Join you, Bean? Mate, I'm in the middle of something. I know you want to show the stream your crimson lightning, but... They'll have to wait. I'm in the middle of the most epic journey you will ever see. Where are we, where are we going? We're going this way. Alright. Now where? Don't want to fall too fast, because I imagine we're going to have to go back up again. Look at that. Imagination was accurate. This one's a lot better, because, you know, I can actually see where I'm going most of the time. That's the fun part about this, is when you can see the challenge and then tackle it accordingly, not when you're completely blinded. Okay, this is tripping me out. Why are we not moving forwards? Seriously? Seriously? Seriously! I didn't do anything to the camera there. It just changed for no reason. Uh, the camera just screwed me. I got messed up, dude. I hate when the camera just changes for no reason. I don't know why that happens. I really don't. I'm trying to slow down here and fall without falling too far. Or this way. Or this way. Ah! Okay, give up. Join Toasty. Stop. Stop ignoring. I'm not ignoring. Well, I'm. I'm if I was ignoring, I would just not even acknowledge the fact that he's inviting me. I've just climbed him. Just completely rejected him. No, there's a difference between ignoring and rejecting. Which, like, this is the part that confuses me. I don't know, like, which way is up sometimes. That's what messes me up so much. Like, I don't know exactly which way is up. And I just have to keep on making minor adjustments, hoping that I pick the right one. You know what I mean? This is where it screwed me last time. Oh my goodness. Why is this happening? Holy... That's so, so trippy. Super difficult to deal with that, that segment there. The camera just changes for no reason. I'm sure there's, well, honestly, I'm sure there's a reason, but, you know. You feel me. Fams. Fams. Looks like I'm just swimming through a level here. That was, like, freakishly smooth by my standards. Ha! Huh. I'm insanely good at this, apparently. Nah, just kidding, I'm not really. We did it! New completed time of 1,134,435. One Bam! Beat that. Easy. One million. That's what I'm talking about. I knew I could do it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go watch PRL. You guys should all do the same. Uh, what's their channel called again? Pro Rivalry League or something? Either way, I hope you enjoyed that more than I did.